Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we want to talk a very basic thing about uh, the nutrition that is macronutrients. Okay, we know there are macronutrients and micronutrients, and for nutrition, proper health, we need both. But uh, the macronutrient is the most important component from where we generate energy in the body, and the macronutrients contains three important macro molecules so one is the carbohydrate second one is protein third one is fat and among these three if we talk about the basics the fat produces maximum energy then protein then uh, carbohydrate so let's talk about all of these types so let's first talk about carbohydrates in here carbohydrates okay so what we are going to talk here actually is about the different types of macronutrients we'll also talk about the uh, the problem that is associated with uh, the macronutrients availability because normally what we know about macronutrient is that macronutrients provides it provides what it provides energy to the cell let me write it in here it provides energy energy to the cell and if it fails to do so if it fails to produce energy in the cell then that is or deficiency of doing deficiency of this is resulted in a situation or a disease known as marasmus okay the disease is known as marasmus but now let's talk about how exactly the macronutrient give us energy we'll talk about carbohydrates first then we'll talk about the proteins then we'll talk about the fats so let's begin with the carbohydrates carbohydrates can be classified according to two different features so let me classify them according to two different features one is the structure and digestibility structure structure and digestibility structure and digestibility and second one is the effect on post post prandial blood glucose concentration post prandial blood glucose concentration means obviously after uh, eating something you know the blood glucose concentration post prandial blood glucose concentration okay and uh, this structural uh, and digestibility can lead to the classification of carbohydrates into different types known as monosaccharides okay disaccharides okay polysaccharides and other things are fibers okay these are the four types mono di and poly saccharides okay you all know that monosaccharide means made with only single unit di means made with two units poly means made up with multiple units more than two units while uh, post prandial blood glucose level formula that is for, again uh, formulated by the glycemic index it is actually found by the glycemic glycemic index glycemic index now the fiber and the glycemic index both are noteworthy in this case both are noteworthy in this case because both have food rich in fiber food rich in fiber okay and it also it also show low glycemic index low glycemic index and also can show also can show delayed gastric emptying let me write them delayed gastric emptying okay increased increased satiety decreased absorption decreased absorption of dietary fat of dietary fat and cholesterol increased fecal loss 
इंक्रीज्ड फिकल लॉस ऑफ कोलेस्टेरॉल ओके एंड रिड्यूस्ड पोस्ट प्रांडियल ब्लड ग्लूकोज कंसेंट्रेशन रिड्यूस्ड पोस्ट प्रांडियल ब्लड ग्लूकोज कंसेंट्रेशन एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स ऑल दिस थिंग्स दैट वी टॉक अबाउट पर्टिकुलरली डिक्रीज एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ फैट एंड कोलेस्टेरॉल एंड इंक्रीज फिकल लॉस ऑफ कोलेस्टेरॉल बोथ दिस थिंग लीड्स टू लीड्स टू डिक्रीज एल डी एल डिक्रीज लो डेंसिटी लिपो प्रोटीन okay so this is regarding the carbohydrate and how they are used now let's talk about the second type which are proteins how proteins serve as macronutrient proteins are composed of composed of what amino acids simply let me write amino acids okay and if there is any deficiency deficiency if there is if there is any deficiency that will lead to a disease known as qua sure core okay qua sure core this is another malnutrition related disease qua sure core and now the third thing in here is fat and how fat used as the macronutrients to produce energy and we know the fat produce maximum amount of energy i can divide this fat i mean fat can be composed of different types one we can write it as saturated fat saturated fat uh, also known as trans sorry let me clear it out trans fat okay trans fatty acids are chemically classified as monounsaturated fatty acids as well monounsaturated fatty acid or mufa mufa okay the second type let me write another again monounsaturated 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 fat so again mufa and this saturated fat chemically trans fatty fatty acids actually if we talk about chemically uh, classified into mono um, unsaturated uh, mono uh, unsaturated type okay if it's trans but if it cis then it is uh, the saturated form here okay otherwise mono unsaturated the third one is poly unsaturated poly unsaturated fat p u f a pufa okay these are the different names mufa pufa you know you see probably advertising of oil telling that it contains mufa or pufa and all these things so this polyunsaturated fatty acid can be further divided into two different type one is the omega 6 fatty acid and another one is the omega 3 fatty acid okay now this all the types of fatty acid how somehow they are related to different types of uh, lipoproteins because the fats must be associated with proteins in order to transfer themselves through the blood stream so the saturated fats or trans fats lead to generation or increased amount of low density lipoprotein while uh, monounsaturated fats are uh, leading to decrease amount of low density lipoprotein okay while omega 6 fatty acid also causes decrease amount decreased amount of low density lipoprotein while the omega 3 fatty acid caused a decreased amount of arith arith means okay we can write as arith means okay decreased amount of arith means decreased amount of platelet aggregation platelet aggregation and effects on membrane function effects on membrane function 
okay these three things are associated with omega 3 fatty acid because it decreases arith arith means decrease platelet aggregation and also so as it decreases the platelet aggregation you know the problem with the clogging of the blood vessel and all these things may not happen all the time due to this reason okay so these are the different types of macronutrients and how they are related and remember all these macronutrients finally are producing energy with the help of the catabolism a proper catabolism that is in in case of carbohydrate metabolism it is the glycolysis pyruvate dehydrogenase complex krebs cycle and uh, ultimately the electron transport chain in fatty acids is beta oxidation of fatty acid and all again for proteins also destruction of the protein component to amino acid and then use of those amino acid to generate energy but if they fail to provide energy then uh, the the problem is known as marasmus which is also classified as a form of pem disease what is the full form of pem protein energy malnutrition okay so they are related to this protein energy malnutrition type of disease marasmus so that's kind of an overview of macronutrients and why they are so important and their deficit can cause different diseases so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that in future thank you bye